What's up, wrestling fans? Listen to me. We're not going to take you in the ring. We're going to take you to the street, the hood. Well, let me tell you something, man. I'm a new breed of black man. The Black Wrestling Podcast. Wrestling. From a nigga perspective. Niggas is back, and niggas is black. As always, it is the almighty Black Wrestling Podcast giving you niggas wrestling from a nigga perspective. Niggas. This is a special edition of the Black Wrestling Podcast, so hopefully you guys been checking the Instagram. Bong, bong, we've, bong. Been, we've been running down the first ever BRP50. Hashtag BRP50, the Black Wrestler 50. Shouts out to all the wrestlers who were fucking with us so Big far. Facts. Big facts. At this point, at when you listen to this, we we should have already dropped 50 to 11. So we about to hit y'all with that top 10. Let y'all know our thoughts. All that shit. As always, my name is Cal. Rockthedub.com, but you already knew that. The squad is on the line. Please say what's good to the people, y'all. Your ill fam seven nine on your social media choice, aka Black Saw Jim Thuggin. Wow, you had that one tuck. <laughs> that shit was in the tuck, man. <laughs> it ain't about the title; it's body to get it. Math at Math Damon. That's it. That's it. I respect it. That's um, it. Um. I do want to say, I don't remember when we first came up with this idea. Shit was like six months ago, nigga. It was, it was, a, and we were, we were going to drop this closer to whenever. Because obviously, if you saw the the artwork, it's inspired by the 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 pro wrestling illustrated fifty list that they do every year. Who so we were going to try before you go, go any further, Cal? It it only be fifty niggas in that list. It be well if it's nigga niggas. Nigga niggas, five hundred. Like, the PWI five hundred ahead. Five, less than yo, 50. the nigga count on it, this it, episode it, right now is high. It be like, <laughs> like fifteen niggas in that list. <laughs> so we felt it was only right to represent for the black wrestlers out there. Cause shouts out to the Black Wrestling Alliance. Yep. I feel like they, they had an Instagram story where they said, you know, if, if these basically if these other feds ain't going to represent for the niggas, we got to. We got to We got to do for our own. Um, it made sense to drop this on Juneteenth. Yeah. When they say that slavery was abolished and niggas was free. Niggas was really free. Free. <laughs> this nigga. free. Did he make the list? Did he give us free, shout give us the li- make the list, yo. Um, shout out to Bobby Schroeder, <laughs> them. Bobby's. That nigga still locked in. Yo, remember them guns he had on the table, yo? A couple of them like Star Trek phases, yo. Who, Bobby? When Smurda got knocked off, yo, and they um they put all the guns them niggas had on that table, that nigga had a whole I phaser. Don't nothing, I don't know nothing about nothing. No? I don't know yeah, nothing nigga. about nothing. They caught that nigga on every well because he told nope. himself mm-mm, mm-mm, he did. Mm-mm. Did you hear the song? Uh, this is <laughs> math saying he heard nothing. <laughs> All I'm saying is there's a, I don't know where you can find it, but it's a video that I saw on Twitter, right? Nope. And and they mm-mm. had part of the hot nigga song. Nope. And they literally took at as they were showing his or as they had his lyrics playing, they were showing the mug shots. All the niggas that got sent up with him, because he named every one of them niggas in the song. <laughs> Free Michi, ho. <laughs> Free me. Um. So without further ado, what we're gonna Hold do? On. You want you want to give a shout to them niggas to the, to the nigga niggas? Who the niggas that might not have made the the fifty through eleven? What I, I do want to say. I mean, I don't. It's 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 funny because you don't realize what type of impact you have at all at all until you do something like this and people come out and be like yo I wonder where I'm gonna be on the list you know am I gonna be around somewhere blah 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 it's a I mean 
four. We we want. I didn't want to do too crazy of a list. I didn't want to do. There's no way we could do a 500 because for whatever reason, in America, they ain't gonna let 500 niggas do anything unless it's like play basketball or go to jail, shit like that. Or kill each other. They'll let they'll let 500 niggas go to jail. So big facts. So we wanted. I I personally wanted to have a nice number. You know, something that shows the the breadth of black wrestlers in, that are currently in the ring today doing it, um, but not go too crazy. So we capped it at fifty. We capped it um, at fifty. There were there were some dope wrestlers who ended up not making it primarily just because it's like some of them are tag teams. You know, yeah. some of them just like they might be dope, but they might compared to some other people. They might not have had the awareness or they're just not at the level of some, excuse me, some of the wrestlers that are out right now. And it's not even any shade. It's just like in situations like this, you have to, you have to be compared. You have to compare niggas. You got to say, look, this person has a list. It it, it sucks. It does suck. It does suck. And I mean, I can only hope, I mean, I don't, I don't, I I can't think that something like that, that we do like this is going to, specifically make a nigga be like, yo, I got to set my shit up so the Black Wrestling Podcast got me in the 50 in 2020. Or, um, I, or I mean, you could slide us some cash. Mm. We, we at least that get was... you number 55. Oh, we're completely susceptible to bribes. <laughs> really? But, um, <laughs> you know, I mean, it, <laughs> we can't get no ads, so we cash just gotta take all the my, money we can get. Um, my cash app. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> we I say mean, nigga too much. We, it's it's a hundred percent. We need. I it, think that's we, my cash app. We say nigga too much. Dollar sign. Dollar, dollar sign. We say nigga way too much. Um, I again, any any black wrestlers that have made the list, and again, you can go to the Instagram dot com slash black wrestling and see. The everybody from eleven to fifty. If you didn't make it, it's not because you're not dope. It's Chris just we were Tone. Chris C. Facts. Tone, smooth. I'm running them down because Cal ain't gonna give me no time. Dave I Ali, don't uh, mm. Gia Scott, mm. uh, Sadie Blaze, Malcolm mm. Moses. We see you, nigga. No, no disrespect to you. Isn't Duke no Davis, disrespect. Black G's, uh, Gannon Jones, Christian Casanova. That I mean, shit. The list goes on. There's a lot of niggas that should have that should have made it in the fifty. If we got some help, you know what I mean. If one of y'all wrestling niggas wanna wanna um, intern for us and take all this shit down, be Facts. our guest. Facts. It 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 was it just me, or it sounded like you was doing the the K Slate jail shout outs just now. <laughs> hey, yo, shout out to all my niggas locked down. Uh, shout Facts. out to B Body, damn Kentucky. Hold your head, my nigga. Oh, um, you were, you name um, you name it real niggas. That's a oh, fact. Yeah, yeah, what the fuck you thought? You, for for somebody who is so quick to slide to the left, like you literally just didn't want to talk about Bobby Schmurder. No, nah, because those I mean, ain't my niggas. Say less. Say less. I guess as long as you ain't do the dirt. I don't know what you're talking about, Cal. That, that's exactly why I asked. That's exactly why I asked. Um. Let's get right to it. Number 10. I feel like this nigga probably would have went higher if he had got more time to flex this year. Um, strong number 10, though. The nigga is Shane Strickland. Word. A.K.A. Isaiah Scott. Swerve. Was he the most decorated nigga on this list? Um, It was either him or... It was somebody else that had a gang of fucking titles, dog. I want to say it wasn't. Um, it wasn't Desmond Xavier. I can't. I don't have the list in front of me. I don't have the full list. I only had ten through ten, but there were some niggas on there with title after title after title. I think Shane Strickland had seven. Yeah, he he had a shitload of titles. Um. I feel like he might have had at least when I'm looking at the the list of titles, his particular cell is yeah he might he might have he ate all them niggas. He had 
fuck? I just switched to the wrong goddamn tab. I don't need to see what Roman Reigns doing right now. Um, <laughs> this this nigga, he held the PCW Ultra Heavyweight Title, NGW Champion, PCW Ultra Light Heavyweight Champion, the Defy Eight X GP Champion. He was Evolve Champion, as well as the MLW World Heavyweight Champion. That was the first place I saw him. Was the MLW nah, well, yeah, stuff? Yeah, Shane, Shane Strickland had the most. Yeah, and, and so and these wasn't like for for because we went and just for everybody knows we looked at the year from May 2018 to May 2019. Right. Some of these reigns he held these shits for over a year. He was NGW champion from February 2018 to March of 2019. Facts. Like it wasn't no bullshit runs. I just think. My and I mean I don't know how y'all feel. It's dope to see that he's now inundated or, or, or integrated with the WWE, but um, I feel like some of these weighted against some of these other champions. I personally don't feel like his those titles carry as much weight when you're looking at the actual best. I would agree there. Um, I, I thought like uh, the one thing that. Um weighed heavy on when I was doing my, my personal rankings was like what type of exposure people were getting. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, so I, I looked a lot at what TV they were on. I also looked at how niggas were getting engaged on social media just because, mm-hmm. you know, I, I feel like you see a lot of that too. And that's how a lot of niggas get over. Word. That's smart. That's right. And I, and I, I would say I didn't take as much stock in that. I went, I, and I know Math was probably the nigga that went through a whole like you was watching every match, every fucking match, every match. I was going because I mean, and shout out to Math for putting you know so much work into compiling the list. I was looking at like win loss records. I was you know the, the number of championships and how long they were held weighed heavy on me. And then a lot of it is just if I thought a nigga was dope, work, yeah. you know. And I, I mean, it's and it's not even correct like even stacked up against all of our list. Shane Strickland's, you know, relatively high for a guy who only just now got brought to the WWE. <clears throat> and I think he's also a guy who I think has a lot of potential, and I wouldn't be surprised if in the future he's at a higher position. Right. Hopefully. I, Hopefully. Like, I personally Hopefully. had him a little bit lower, <clears throat> but he's... Mm. I, I think I had him at, like, 15 um, he yeah. he yeah. was uh the number one like indie. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Black right. black person I seen um mentioned indie wise that had not been on a ROH or TNA or you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Hadn't been on anything. Yeah. And I feel yeah. like he's he he's become a name relatively quickly too, right? Like yeah. how long um, is his his debut was in 2011. Okay. Shit. That's what nigga Google says anyway. <laughs> and uh he was he was straight from combat zone wrestling just to all the indies. But he also I mean, he also put in work in Lucha Underground yeah. and, and, and in Major League Wrestling. So he the nigga's no slouch. He was the first major league wrestling champion if I'm, i remember correctly. So yeah, so niggas got I mean, if you guys watch Lucha Underground, he was kill shot over there. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think uh, he's one of those niggas that's on the rise. It's undeniable. If you're not fucking with Shane, Str- I mean, if you're not fucking with Shane Strickland, aka Isaiah Scott, right now, um, you're playing yourself. You're really playing yourself. He, he's one to look out for. Um. Now, next. In- these next three, it was a three way tie in terms of how math did the, the calculations in the lab. Um, number nine, I hate this nigga. Yeah. <laughs> Old Stako. Old Stako hat wearing nigga. I hate this yeah, nigga why, too. Why, <laughs> why did this nigga put a strike around it? I hate this nigga. I, well, because you, it's, it, again, and this is, I think this is the problem with people who don't do lists normally get to it. it's like you got to put your emotions to the side and really look at what what's real 
That I nigga mean, wouldn't have made it. He wouldn't. He wasn't gonna make this motherfucker if we if this was emotions. <laughs> if I was basically, if I was oh, going, nah, this nigga would have been fifty one, fifty three, something. <laughs> but <laughs> at number nine, motherfucking Bobby Lashley. And this is an interesting one because there's a caveat there. Very much so. Because. The nigga, at, like, if y'all go to the Black Rational on Instagram, y'all see number 11 is Leo Rush. Very much so. Hmm. Bobby Lashley wouldn't have been anywhere if it wasn't for this nigga Leo Rush. That's yes, a whole that was, fact that was of one, though. If you can backtrack maybe four <laughs> episodes, we told you this day was coming. And I told you that I've been arguing with these niggas endlessly <laughs> over this shit, over Bobby fucking Lashley. He don't even hey, like black people. He, he don't. Yeah. He don't at all. You can tell by the voice, yo, and the cut of his jeans, he hate niggas. Look at his hat. <laughs> yeah, his hat is awful, no. yo. A whack-ass, great, no lo- gray, no logo having ass. He got a... a- a stretch, no logo, fitted dad hat. Yo, that nigga dressed like a nigga that added. Uh, that, that nigga dressed like a nigga that added OJ when he got added to Twitter this weekend. Like, yo, happy Father's Day, my nigga. Yo, why why OJ start every video with Hey Twitter world? Hey, this the juice, nigga. This the juice. Yeah. I mean, shit, if you if you ever kill somebody, you would too. They got away with it. They got away with it. Hey, oh hey, my gosh. gosh. We gonna talk about Bobby in a sec, although realistically, when you talk about OJ Simpson, you talking about a nigga like Bobby Lashley. Fact. But mm-hmm. how how OJ Simpson got on Twitter on Father's Day to be like, <laughs> um, that's not my That's daughter. not my baby. That ain't my baby. <laughs> you see this I juice, y'all. I, I see y'all nigga been spreading all these evil rumors, deception. Listen, y'all. <laughs> nigga, I, I, I don't like a, but Chris Jenner head big as a muff. I don't like that hoe. Hold on, ain't that the man? <laughs> no, no. Chris don't Jenner ain't that. the man. That's Nigga, Bruce Jenner. Chris Jenner. Chris Jenner's a woman. Bruce Jenner was a man that became a woman. Dude, Bruce got a new name. Chris. Caitlin. That's what it was. Caitlin. I forgot. Oh, you said Chris, Chris you dead. stupid yo. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, but if OJ know, had hit, I, never mind. Go ahead. I'm not sure if uh, Caitlyn had the whole chain. Oh yeah, she had she uh-huh. had the surgery. When? I thought she had, and I thought she kept it. Hey yo, January 2017. She underwent sex. Leg- How do we get here? This is a legit question. This is a legit question. So, you know, what I mean, you have the surgery and they chop, they chop your the the penis off. Do they do they cut half of your feet off too to try to try to trim that thirteen down to a six and a half? Mm-mm, that nigga out here in them um <laughs> boat size pumps. <laughs> Cal. Uh, looks as though brother Cal has frozen or left the conversation. Did he not? He got got, 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 got caught up. He got caught up in the cut. It was too much for him. Like y'all niggas talking about cutting off penis. I got to go. That nigga was out. (laughs) 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 (laughs)
OJ, somebody tapped the line and tried. They said, "Tell them niggas." The shut switch the guards up. got it. Yo. <laughs> OJ said, "Cut it." <laughs> <laughs> See, God damn, God damn. See, <sighs> so, yeah, this nigga Bobby Lashley, um, Christ, he wouldn't have got put on if it wasn't for Leo Rush. I admit that. That's a whole fact. But Leo, aside from being Bobby Lashley spliff star. What has Leo Rush really done in 2019? Yo, um, Leo had Leo had some good matches on 205 Let's Live. Play. He was killing it. Yeah, he had some good matches. Him and Cedric Alexander had had a very very good match. Yo. He's put on some good matches. He had good match with Finn Balor. Uh, he just didn't get a lot of uh, ring time. <laughs> yep, that was you're not thing. wrong. But I I don't think good 205 live is worth a top 10 spot that's true he's a nigga that has potential but i and i would love to see we, we was talking about it last week about how it looks that he'd be going back to nxt i'd love to see him there and go getting in that mix and yeah. i could see him you know having a higher spot but i mean facts is facts bobby lashley they were kind of lackluster, but he is a two-time WWE Intercontinental Champion. That shit happened. That happened because of Leo Rush. That's a fact. That's a fact. So we. It, 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 this is why I had I had him personally. I had Leo Rush at nine and a half falls. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> That's what you were judging, my nigga. <laughs> Nine and a half. Nine and a half to me sounds crazy, but I understand where you're coming from. Pause. Thank you. No problem. Um. Now, like I said earlier, Bobby Lashley. It was a three way tie. There was no way Bobby had a better year than our number eight at all. The nigga Willie Mack. My favorite nigga on the list. This is my the favorite nigga on the nigga. list. Facts. The whole NWA national champion. Yeah. I remember, I remember being so hyped when I saw that. Nigga, Word. the belt was slick. The, 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 the metal part of the belt was shaped like America. Nigga, I was like, yeah, this nigga out here. He should have turned it upside down, though. That would have been hard. Big facts. But but if, y'all yeah. have, if you tune in to my nigga Willie Mac Insta story, like... Mm-hmm. The nigga, pop, oh nigga, that's all my man from off of uh, the television show. I be like, yo, that nigga hard, yo. He, he, <laughs> he's a whole nigga, like a whole nigga. He's absolutely the most, the uh, the person I like to most drink a beer with on this list. Facts. He might be the realest nigga on this list. That's a whole fact. I'm sure somebody, somebody in in and at the lower region of the the list, the caught a body. <laughs> really? I'm not quite sure if Brother Willie Mack has not. <laughs> Y'all yeah, shot a he nigga or two, like you know what I'm saying, from time to time. Facts. He look like he fresh out. Yeah, that nigga real nigga, cuz. I give you that. Yo, that nigga just posted Shout some super, like some crazy fan art, yo. If they make a shirt, they got need one. It was it was it's a it's a slick little uh drawing of that nigga, man. Y'all nigga follow Willie Mack on Twitter here real. Is he on Pro Wrestling Tees? Because I don't know if Impact... Does Impact put out clothes? I have no idea. Fuck no. Impact barely put out shows. <laughs> Yo! I saw... Huh, that was good. That was good. Yeah. I saw a video of Impact last week, and it was... I forget who Willie Mack was wrestling. but it was, And this was on TV. At one point, the show's going, and then over the action, it's like somebody in the production truck was trying to get on Gmail, and then Gmail popped up on the screen Yo, lying, over the no. back. I'm dead ass. I'm dead ass. You can't make no shit up. It's Impact. You can't make that up. Wow. People swear it's a good show. I can't watch it. The shouts out to him. Hmm. Uh, the 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 third person in this this three way tie. Again, another uh, amazing nigga on social media. And also, Twitter base guy. One third of facts. One third of the the 
the best nigga faction outright. No, 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 no. The second best nigga faction. We got that crown. We got that crown submitted. Talk about it. Talk about it. Hmm. Talk about it. Put us up, up in the rafters. Um, the nigga Big E, who just returned, fresh out. Hmm. I think, I mean, I think the fact that he's probably a entry that's a lot more because of his personality. Yeah. Because, like, realistically, the only big accolade he had he has from the year was, you know, being part of the SmackDown Tag Team Champions during that 56-day run. Although I think that was, it was during that run where they, they broke that record for having the belts the longest or some shit like that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, that, that's huge. One of the Even best segments like- on television in the last year, which was produced by uh, Brother Cash, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. With, you know what I mean? When they did the five time celebration, had, had, had my nigga uh, 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 Booker T come in there. And um, they said they, they had all of them take a knee, you know what I mean? In, in old to, the, to my nigga Kaepernick. So mm-hmm. he. Putting him, the angles he's been involved with this year, including, you know what I'm saying, the mania angle, mm-hmm. he had to be in the top 10. Word. And he's just a cool dude. I mean, I think, um, again, if he, he's got one of the most entertaining Twitter accounts, especially for a WWE superstar who clearly knows how to not give a fuck. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, shout out to them. I'm glad he's back. Hopefully, uh, I don't. I, I still don't subscribe to the idea of the new day needing to break up. But if they do, I hope it's because he's about to get a shot. Oh yeah, something, something. Number ten, nine, number six, number six, and again six and five. That was our second tie in the top ten. Also, the only woman in the top ten, but you know she's well deserving. The boss, Sasha Banks, put her at number one. Fact. I mean, I, and again, I feel bad because her her main accolade is that fucking women's tag. Team. She's trash. They shit canned it early. They only had it for like a month and a half. Hmm. But Sasha. Sasha Ronda Rousey at the Royal Rumble. Shit was mean. That shit was a. F- she made Ronda look like a million. That's a fact. And that was the first like real competitive matches that Ronda had, and that was Sasha. Yeah. Look, that bitch like what? Hmm. And was on that ass. She, I had a winner that. Facts. Facts. She should have won it. Low key, she should have won it, but they wanted to have Ronda in that WrestleMania main event. They could have gave Sasha that spot, but you know how niggas do. Hmm. I, uh, she's also in an interesting spot because there's all this talk about her rumored to, you know, having friction with WWE. Is she going to be leaving? Is she going to be staying? If she, if, if there's a situation where she was able to leave WWE in the next year, I'm assuming she's shining. Do y'all think she would go up higher in the ranking? Oh, probably so. WWE. If she leaves, yeah. she gonna she's gonna be that nigga wherever she go. Um, we know where she going. If she would leave, yeah, yeah. she going down there with she, uh old Cody and them. She 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 would knock all them other chicks out. I think. If, like I, I hate it because I laugh at the idea of them having so many WWE men, <laughs> or at least you know when I seems like every big. It's got like a guy who was a WWE star in there somehow. Mm-hmm. I would hope if Sasha came to the A to AEW, they would and shine because she would deserve it. She would kill that whole roster. Mm-hmm. Word. Um, Sasha was tied with our number five. With number five, yeah. It's weird because this nigga's been consistently dope. But you don't really hear a lot about him, especially if you don't watch pre show. Yeah. But that nigga Cedric Alexander. Mm-hmm. Word. Phenomenal. Man, listen, when when I seen not even the him and Leo Rush shit, 
mm-hmm. crazy. When I saw mm-hmm. the nigga suplex the nigga, or he got suplexed outside the ring, landed on his feet, and then turned that into a suplex. Word. Hmm. I said, yo, this nigga special. Yo, he definitely worked the best live match I saw all of last year. Mm, really? Was it him and Tony yeah, Nice or no? Nah, who was the nigga that was doing the um the oh, PowerPoint Buddy presentation? Murphy. It wasn't it Buddy, Murphy. Buddy Murphy. Nah, it wasn't Buddy. The nigga that was doing the PowerPoint uh, presentations on two hundred five live and um Drew Gulak. Drew him and Drew Gulak. Yeah. It was insane, son. Insane. He's good. It's all, it's also crazy because I'm I'm just looking at some of his his accolades. He held that cruiserweight title for 181 days, mm-hmm. and he lost the belt at Super Showdown in 2018, and that was his first televised loss of 2018. Mm. So he was out there. Him and him and because he lost to Buddy Murphy, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He beat Buddy Murphy prior to that loss. He beat Buddy Murphy like 15 times. Yeah. Yeah, he had a real run. He had a real run. It's quiet as it's kept. WWE is low key. I mean, they're not niggas like Top Shine, but these niggas is getting some shine on some of these belts. They're getting some shine. They, 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 they are getting some shine. We wouldn't know. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, if you, if you don't watch a pre show, you don't watch 205 Live, you probably wouldn't know how good of a year Cedric Alexander had, but top five, top mm-hmm. number five. Number four, and four and three are interesting because they both held the same title. Hmm. Yeah. Literally like back to back. Number four is the nigga Ricochet, a.k.a. Nigga Shay. Amazing. He's a spot. He's amazing. Man. Yeah, he's amazing. It's a spot fest, but all that shit is wonderful. The pride, the, fi- the fighting pride of Paducah. Uh uh. Uh uh. Shouts out to Paducah being. Shouts out to Paducah being such a thing. That after. <laughs> after. We could talk about Paducah for a minute, which sounds crazy to say, but to hear. <laughs> John Moxley mentioned on the Chris Jericho podcast about being, about being pissed off and, and going to Paducah and having raw. That shit made me. Ew, that shit sound crazy. <laughs> going raw in Paducah? Ouch. Going Yo, to Paducah raw. Sounds like it's chafing. Pissed off and going to Paducah raw? <laughs> wow. Uh, That's man. wild. That's wild. Shout out Shout to callbacks. Yep. <laughs> That's a fact. No, nah, but. Ricochet, did anybody have any more highlights than Ricochet? Mm. In this tent? Yo, during this period, oh, was this the time that, um, during this period, did he, this is when him and uh, Velveteen had their feud. Yo, remember that nigga flipped out the ring and landed on his feet? And he flipped out the ring and landed on his feet. So. Calm. Looking right, right up in his face, too. Like, what's up? And nigga landed like Kerry Scrug, <laughs> yo. What's up, nigga? What's up, nigga? <laughs> so, nigga, he had, this. He did that. This was the year I think. Um, he jumped off. He jumped off, he jumped off the cage. Yeah. Um, and plus, you know, you can't you can't forget post Mania or was it leading up to Mania? Whenever up. Vince Man said, "Yo, I, I I need these NXT niggas on." Yeah, yeah, he got called up. Alistair Black. They were niggas was doing Raw. Some was doing SmackDown. The two of them was doing both shows and having the NXT best matches on those shows. Killing it, killing it. I'm waiting for this nigga to hurt himself. I don't want him to. <laughs> Yo, God dang, Christ. I feel like it's gonna happen. I mean, we got a scare last week. You know, niggas thought he landed on Cesaro's leg that fucked him up. Dude, apparently, that was a that was a whole work. That was work. That was a whole work. Yeah, everybody but, talked um, about it too. Yeah, blame the nigga. <laughs> of course, why not? The other nigga can't speak proper English. Hey, yo. <laughs> Just blame the nigga. Fact. Well, but I mean, I think Rick, if Ricochet gonna ascend, he's he's about to beat Samoa Joe. I don't I don't like him doing promos. There was that one day they shitted on him. 
It was awful. I think it was Braun Strowman. One of them niggas basically was just like, shut up, nigga. <laughs> that was <laughs> ill fam. <laughs> what happened? That was ill fam. So, nigga, shut up. <laughs> Shane was talking and said, shut up, nigga. It was weird. It was weird. I, I mean, I hope he could work on that. But I mean, I guess if you're uh, if you're that if you're that ill in the ring, compensate. Facts. Now, a guy who might ill as Ricochet, but is amazing on the mic. He's he's teetering that that Bobby Lashley line. Yeah, he kind. Of, we talked about it last week. He kind of fucked up with them them Instagrams keeping for uh this man. But number three for his white daddy. Um, Mm. <laughs> Vel- Velveteen Dream, um, current NXT North American champion, has held that title since the end of January. Officially, I think. I think he won that shit. Nah, what's his name? Just won it. Prior. He's not the current. What's his name? Got well, he won. Um, Ooh. the white boy. What white boy? I thought the white boy just oh, won the belt. No, Adam Cole won the the what's his name. The, the the world title. Oh, the world title. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the okay. Yeah, yeah. That was the, yeah. Yeah, was yeah, the um. Yeah. yeah, him and uh, Tyler Breeze just fought for that belt. Okay, yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. Where he beat because because Velveteen beat uh, Gargano. Yeah. yeah. Um, and Gargano was the one that beat Ricochet. Oh, uh, but yeah, Dream. While I don't like this nigga caping for Vince McMahon on Instagram. Uh, he's he's one of those. Uh, we say it all the time. Talents that I hope when he eventually gets called up to the main roster, they they know what the fuck to do with him because the niggas his his gimmick is golden right now, and I Word. throw on that shit I, at all. Yo, his he's um he's consistently been the best main eventer. Period. Um, he's yeah. had the most. Like main event matches and killed all of them. Yeah, facts. That was his book went. It was it since Brooklyn. Maybe. Oh, right before Brooklyn. He in Brooklyn. Um, he wrestled. Was that Ricochet? Uh, did I watch? No, it was Alistair Black. That was a good match. I think it was that when Alistair Black Black said, "Uh." He was trying to get him to say his name or something my, like that. Say my name. Yeah. Yeah, mm. yeah that was fire. But the, the the real ill Velveteen match was the shit that he had with Chomp. Yes. Word. When he when he was when he was out out um wasn't he wasn't he didn't he uh do the dive at elbow outside? Yeah, I believe so. Well I think that was the one thing that, that you said, Matt, was when you were going through a lot of this shit, you were realizing that uh the niggas, niggas be great and be like bigger motherfuckers. Word. It's a white dude who's small. That nigga, all he do is flip. He flip, he do this, that, and the third. That's it. Niggas be 6'11". They doing moonsaults. Hmm. These niggas is jumping into the fifth row. Fat. At 350 pounds. <laughs> Shout out to Thomas Brewington, who, who also missed the list, my nigga. Who does a this motherfucker does a a um a front flip into a European uppercut? Jesus, I like huh. that. I like that. I think it's. I guess it's, it's one of the, and it, and like we said earlier at the top of the show, it's why we have to do shit like this because niggas won't get they won't get that recognition. In the shit, you know. Nobody's gonna know. Word. Keith Lee, hmm. is beast, and that nigga's mad agile. I don't know if he's in any type of title contention or if he's gonna be anytime soon. Never. Hmm. That nigga can fuck around, dunk a basketball. Facts. And then make you eat the shit. <laughs> if if it's still there, if he ain't eat the motherfucker. <laughs> Big facts. Big facts. Oh, uh, but yeah, number three, Velveteen Dream. Um, number two, this nigga, this nigga is amazing. And probably one of the few guys who like, aside from Willie Mack, probably one of the few guys in the top 10 who's, I don't know if this nigga's ever going to be like a main roster WWE guy. 
Never. Um, I never say so never. Jer- you never know. Jer- right now, he's saying never. Jersey Zone, RWO cha- R- ROH champion, I'm sorry, uh, world champ. He had a 280 day run hmm. from uh, June of 2018 to what, April of 2019. That was in the time he also held the TV title as well for a Yes, sir. Hey, yo, what's uh, is- PWA? Paducah World Association? Paducah <laughs> Wrestling hey, Association? Yo, you gotta cut that out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Jay Lethal also had my favorite match at uh, All In. Ah. I think it was my favorite. Where he did the, the, the Randy Savage shit. Mm-hmm. Like, dumb in character. We lifted up what's the name like Liz and everything. Facts, yeah. Shout out Brady Rhodes. God damn. Mm. Um shout out to Cody. Isn't it <laughs> he's the only ROH world champion that was a nigga. I buy that. I don't know if he's uh, I don't know if he if there's any other niggas that can do that. I don't know. All I know is he made the list high for me because he cut them braids off. Yeah, that's facts. That's facts. There was homeless braids. And they was they, they they started reaching they they started looking like the Jerry Rices. <laughs> Him and Dick Swan had them the fucking homeless braids. I never understood that shit. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, I, yeah, I think he's being dubbed as like the franchise of Ring of Honor. So yeah, who knows if he's ever going to be in the WWE? I don't think he has a title right now. Yeah, I don't know if he. I don't know if he's currently a champion. So, he, but he he seems mad dedicated to that shit. So, uh, we'll fucking see. Yep. That means there can only be one person left. Let's sit at the top of the mountain. The 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 nigga that everybody rallied behind hmm. early this year. The nigga that successfully was able to work diversity Hmm. into like a major WWE storyline who probably wasn't going to be there if the, if the other boy didn't get fucked up in a house show. And this nigga's still a whole champion. It's this, it's only one nigga, Kofi Kingston. Yeah. Kingston's own Jamaica's own Kofi (laughs) Kingston. No problem. (laughs) It's it's funny to I keep, I keep bringing it up, but I watching the uh, the Ziggler Kofi Kingston playlist because mm-hmm. he he does the same moves that he was doing back then. Mm-hmm. So you see him do the boom drop, he's the boom boom. Yeah, he don't do that shit no more. I watched him with the Ziggler match the other day. Mm-hmm. Now he just run up and say new day. Yeah, and then does the same fucking. It's I don't. But if it works, it works. Where's Matt at? That uh, nigga's dead. I've been there. Yeah, I have no idea where this nigga's at, man. Um, that nigga died. So I was going to say, I know Math was, uh, it, it was funny watching, what was that, Elimination Chamber? Yeah. When he was in that shit, and uh, this nigga Math was damn near crying <laughs> on the polo in, 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 in real time. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, had the fists in there and everything. It's crazy. Yeah, because um, honestly, since he's won that belt, it has definitely turned Math into conspiracy, brother. Anything they do weird, the nigga be like, "This nigga about to take his belt." And I was like, "Yo, <laughs> it, it, it ain't nobody but crazy. it ain't nobody but Apollo Cruz, nigga. He ain't he ain't gonna cause him no trouble." Well, because you know what it is. I mean, a black man can only shine for so long. It's uh, you damn near waiting for the other shoe to drop. But right now, that I man's doing. And I liked it because I, I the aside from that bullshit Taker Goldberg match, the only other full length match I watched from Super Showdown was Kofi and Ziggler, mm-hmm. and it was cool to see like. New Day can still low key do heel shit. Like he won that mm-hmm. match because Xavier super kicked that nigga, or kicked that nigga in the head or whatever. Like them as a crew, 
So it and Kofi's such a solid worker. I don't like him as much as a talker, but I think undeniably right now the WWE title for the belt mm-hmm. and uh Kofi's doing the most important work. Hey, the poo poo man came and got me. Hey yo. Wow. Hey, wow. Yo. Them, them, them. Yeah, <laughs> I told you that shit was gonna happen. Sorry, that was we sorry, to sorry to interrupt. Yo, so what we, we, we were so, saying? Sorry, this nigga came back sweating and everything. Um, <laughs> <laughs> what we were just Ooh, saying man, though is, um, we were talking about number one Kofi, and we were talking about since he's since he's won the belt, every time something a little bit weird happens, you have turned into conspiracy, nigga. Every time, like, yeah, I know why they bringing this nigga back. Because did they already take the belt off Kofi? It was like, no, Ron yeah, Simmons, all no. Ron Simmons did was come in. He was like, damn, and he left. That was it. I don't it. trust nothing. <laughs> I don't trust nobody. I respect it. So, Cause, cause let me, you, I mean, speaking I, of trust, I, though. He was the hypest one. Huh? I was saying that out of the three of us, math seemed like he was the hypest one. Because we didn't, we didn't trust it, yo. We did not trust that the <laughs> niggas was going to put the belt on that nigga. I smooth didn't, yo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> niggas. I Great. told y'all niggas, man. Shit, I, damn, your birthday was April. I should have caught you them felines back then. Yo. <laughs> I would I have would, I damn sure wore them bitches for the rest of the year. Hey, yo. I got to see. I want to see what these shits are for eBay right now. What was you about to say, Finn? Um, I I just uh, I know we didn't have any faith in them niggas, yo. Like to actually put uh, the belt on him, man. Not... And it was so much cool stuff that went in. I'm still pissed that we didn't make it out to the Razzle Rap Live show, um, mm. because they um, because of what went on that night. It was like the whole black wrestling Twitter was in that joint. You know what I'm saying? And everybody yeah. was in there showing your love and 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 yeah. yo made the little speech. He it was, was definitely a moment. Oh, wrong. It was it it was it was cool to have that and then see that nigga win like that yeah. when he won. Word. It felt like all it, it felt like all the niggas won. Yeah. Yo, these new day feelings on eBay for stupid bread. This one nigga got it up for a hundred. This nigga got it for two seventy four. Someone got this trying to sell these shit for six hundred dollars. He nah. probably got. He probably got uh, one of the Kofi kids along with them bitches. Hey yo, <laughs> you can take this little nigga. Whole you time you can have this little nigga. Nah, that's, that's them. The six hundred dollar ones is the ones that's pointy like Xavier Woods boots, yo. No, you could definitely have them shits. Them them uh, chic ones. Yeah, the uh, chic blick. Big facts. But yeah, so that's the top ten. Shouts out to Kofi number one. Yeah. For the uh the inaugural BRP fifty. Um again, if you want to see what fifty to eleven was, that shit is on the Instagram. Um right now. Let us know your thoughts. Who's your number one? If it's not Kofi, who the hell is it? Where did we fuck up? Although I don't think um were there any surprises to y'all in the in the what? Nah, not in the top ten. In the top ten, um, I would say Bobby Lashley. Like anywhere mm-hmm. where like Bobby Lashley wasn't completely connected to Leo Rush, um, I, I think for me Bobby Lashley was a surprise in the top ten. Mm. Hmm. I wasn't surprised. I wasn't. Surprised. I, the the only the other part because by the time if we had realized this later, I wouldn't be surprised if our truth was in the top ten. Yeah, especially because he's been making uh, that belt way more than that trash belt that they gave him. He been making uh mm-hmm. he 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 been he been really doing it. True. Big facts. That's pro- that's probably my only major. And again, I don't. He, I'm just looking at our list. I don't think he was that far. I had him at eleven for most of us. What do you make it about fifteen? 
Yeah, I think on the major, yeah, he's about 14, 15. Um, yeah, he wasn't that far down, but it's, it's just, uh, you know, shit happens. Um, but yeah, shout out to all the winners. If your niggas didn't make it this year, again, it's no disrespect. It's just how the ball bounced. Um, yeah, I guess that's it for this week. Yo, shout out to the niggas that was in like the, the, the 30s and 40s, man. Um, hope to see y'all niggas into the 30s and 20s next year, man. Y'all niggas keep pushing. Word. Big facts. Shout out oh, to everybody just... hitting us for the list, man. Facts. Facts. Yeah, we see y'all. I, I, I love the love that we been getting on Instagram. That shit is really cool. Really good conversation. I mean, matter of fact, shit. Because we got... This ain't the only show we dropping this week. It's a whole other episode we're going to have later on for y'all, as per usual. But, um, y'all think Ted Long is, in, is looking at the Instagram? Ted Long, Ted Long was kicking it the other day. Happy, happy Father's Day, player. I wouldn't know. I wouldn't know if he, he's looking at it because the bitch block. <laughs> <laughs> going on to hit the block on, on this nigga day. math, player. <laughs> <laughs> On that note, we're going to catch y'all later this week with another episode. Yeah. Peace. 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 Yep. Probably the hardest match I ever had in my life. But I don't like it when things aren't my, going my way. You got me mad now. Get in the ring with me. This time, I'm going full force.